powerful, precise, and majestic, the bald eagle, Palliatus leucocephalus, flies high as a symbol of strength, but its story is also one of resilience, science, and recovery. The bald eagle is a large bird of prey native to North America, belonging to the sea eagle group. Adults have a striking white head and tail set against a rich brown body and bright yellow eyes, beak, and feet. Despite its name, it isn't actually bald. Bald comes from an old English word meaning white. These birds are truly formidable. Females are larger than males. A female may reach up to around 108 centimeters, 43 inches, in length, with a wingspan of up to about 2.5 meters, 8 feet, while males are a little smaller. In the wild, bald eagles typically live around 20 to 30 years, though some have reached up to about 39 years. In captivity, with veterinary care and protection, they may live even longer. Bald eagles most often make their homes near water, rivers, lakes, reservoirs, estuaries, and even seacoasts. Their historic and current range spans much of North America, from Alaska and Canada, through the contiguous United States, and into northern Mexico. In winter, many bald eagles migrate to areas with open water, forming communal roosts in tall, sheltered trees. These are true raptors, built for predation. Their primary diet is fish. They're often called fish eagles. But they are opportunistic. They will also eat birds, small mammals, turtles, and carrion, dead animals. Their powerful talons can grip and carry prey up to roughly half their own body weight. Their beaks are curved and razor sharp, ideal for tearing flesh. Their vision is famously sharp, thanks to dense photoreceptor cells in their retinas, allowing them to spot prey from high in the sky. Bald eagles usually begin breeding around four to five years of age. They are largely monogamous and often mate for life. Their courtship is dramatic and aerial. One famous maneuver is the cartwheel display, where two eagles clasp talons in midair and spiral toward the ground before releasing. They build enormous nests, typically high in large trees, though they will also use cliffs or even man-made structures like towers if needed. These nests, the largest among North American birds, are made of sticks lined with grass or moss and reused and expanded year after year. Eggs are laid once a year, usually one to three per brood. Incubation lasts about 35 days. When they hatch, eaglets are initially covered in a light gray down. Later they develop thicker, thermal down, around two weeks in. They fledge, begin to fly, around 10 to 12 weeks. And even after fledging, they may continue to use the nest for several more weeks. Young bald eagles are nomadic. After leaving their nest, they often roam widely, exploring territory and traveling great distances. Adults, by contrast, tend to be more sight faithful, especially in breeding season. In the non-breeding season, they may form large roosts together for warmth and social interaction. There are even reports of what looks like play behavior, passing sticks mid-air, for example. Once pushed to the brink, the bald eagle's comeback is one of North America's greatest conservation stories. In the mid-20th century, hunting, habitat loss, and the widespread use of the pesticide DDT devastated their numbers. DDT caused eggshell thinning, which led to lower reproductive success. In 1972, when DDT was banned in the US, conservation efforts intensified. Laws like the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act helped shelter these birds from further decline. Thanks to conservation, their population has rebounded. The US Fish and Wildlife Service reports strong adult survival, and many nesting pairs now use their territories year after year. Despite the recovery, Bald eagles still face threats. Lead poisoning, from prey hunted with lead ammunition, collisions with vehicles and power lines, poisoning and disturbance of nesting areas are ongoing risks. The bald eagle is more than a national emblem. It's a living example of ecological recovery and scientific management. Its life reveals the delicate balance between predator, prey, and environment. 
When we protect its habitat, we safeguard not just a symbol, but an entire ecosystem. <laughs>